Hi everyone, good evening, happy Friday, and welcome to day 13 of my 100 day project. Oh my gosh! <laughs> um, thank you again so much for joining. Um, today I'm going to continue on my Harry Potter series and I'm going to be painting plants, of course. I mean, come on, don't you know me by now? <laughs> so I already have some sketches drawn out and I'm excited to do that. Um, yeah. I'm also just kind of looking forward to, you know, the rest of the month and then looking into May, I was thinking of um, maybe trying to do some more of that process art that I was talking about a little while ago. And I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. You know, I, I'm, I'm trying to, you know, bring some more of that mindfulness aspect back in because I realize that most of you are, you know, watching. I mean, some of you are watching passively, which is totally okay. And then I know some of you are just kind of like painting alongside with me as if we're in the same room and just happen to be, you know, painting at the same time. So I really like that. Um, and then at the same time, there are a few of you who are maybe even following what I'm doing, but since it's not an actual tutorial, you you know it's kind of hard to yeah follow what I'm doing so I'm trying to think about how to best you know use this time so that it's you know obviously beneficial to me but also beneficial for you so yeah just you know drop me a comment you know right in the chat if you know something has been helpful for you or um, or what you could specifically benefit from that would really help me moving forward I think one thing I definitely want to explore like I was talking about that process kind of therapeutic art and where it doesn't really have to look like anything you know just letting the music letting your you know personal journey or circumstances just kind of guide you and so I'm, I'm hoping to do a little bit more of that um, May is also Asian American um, uh, Pacific Islander Heritage Month and so me being of Korean heritage um, I'm thinking maybe I'll explore that a little bit and again I did mention that Netflix show Beef that really made me think about yeah how I was brought up and um, it's not like there are unresolved issues but you know it just made me think a little bit deeper because it was so relatable Ugh, so relatable <laughs> anyway so thank you again so so much for being here hi linda hello i know there are some of you um some some others of you out there thank you so much for joining i really really appreciate it um yeah i hope your day went well that your weeks went well hope you're excited for the weekend and with that deep breath let's go into our breathing exercise so get into a comfortable position palms up Breathe in through our nose for four seconds and out through our mouths for six seconds. Here we go.
let me bring us back together. I always like to do one final breath. (laughs) All right, before we start painting, um, I do want to mention something that um, that I haven't brought up before. Um, so, you know, these live streams, I'm on day 13 now, and it's been really awesome. And, um, you know, just one way that you can support me, actually, there are a lot of ways that you can support me first by watching this video, you know, and liking it and commenting and interacting with me, that really is priceless. Um, another way that you can support me is by uh, buying me a coffee on Kofi. So if you look at the little button down here, oh, it's behind my mic right here. <laughs> there's a there's a website right here, Kofi.com slash Audrey Rod Design, and it's just a one one time you know support or you can support me multiple times or if you just happen to stumble across this live stream and you really like what you're seeing or you or you like what you have been seeing um, and you want to follow me along in this journey you can go to that website and then send me a little bit of support I like how they use that um, you know that coffee word but then their website is pronounced Kofi so I I like that little play on words so yeah so thank you so much and I might refer to that every now and then Um, and it's just a way just to keep me you know fueled with coffee you know I love coffee and it's a way to you know help me continue on this journey so it's just a little token of thanks so appreciate it all right so like I said I'm gonna be painting um Harry Potter inspired plants today. So I'm pretty excited about that. And I do have four things sketched out. I don't know if you can even see that. It's like so bright. <laughs> um, I have the mandrake. That's that plant where, you know, in um, herbology class, they pull out that plant, right? And then it starts screaming until you pot it in a new, um, pot it in a new pot and then add new soil. So I'm kind of excited for that one. I'm also a little scared because I'll be honest, I've never, I I don't have a lot of experience painting people. And I know Mandrake isn't exactly a person, but it does have a face and it has like, yeah, a body and, you know, twig-like arms and stuff. So we'll see how that goes. Not too excited about that. And then I've got the Gillyweed. And if you remember that one that was used in the Goblet of Fire um, during the, during one of the, um, during one of the activities. Oh gosh, I forgot what they were called. <laughs> but they had to eat that so that they could breathe underwater. And then the other two, well, the last one I don't have sketched, but um, the next one is toadstool and then wolfsbane. And those two are just, you know, ingredients used in potions. So, yeah. All right, so if we're, okay. Hi, Karen. Hello, hello. Thank you so much for joining us. So yeah, let's get started. I've got that same Harry Potter inspired music going on and let's paint.
I'm kind of at a good stopping point as I'm waiting for some paint layers to dry. I just wanted to talk about this mandrake plant. <laughs> I keep laughing as I look at it because, not because it's bad or anything, but because like I'm actually surprised at how it turned out. I It looks kind of messy, but you know, with watercolors, I mean, you know me, like I'm not about you know, scientific accuracy and any, you know, anything like that. I just got, I sketched this and this is the one that, um, in the movie, it's the one that Ron, uh, holds up. And so <laughs> I'm just laughing because I'm thinking of that scene. And um, if you've seen the movies, like Ron, the actor, and he just played that character so well. And just everything he says, all the facial expressions he makes, like, I feel like I, I, I'm him as I'm pulling this mandrake out of the page. So I'm just like kind of giggling to myself and laughing. And um, yeah, I, I am feeling a bit proud because like I said earlier, I've never, okay, not never, but I don't usually paint people or um, yeah, or animals, animals less so. Uh, well, no, no, I paint animals more often than I paint people, but um, a mandrake is kind of in the middle. It's like, a plant person baby root I don't know what it, what it exactly is but yeah I, I wanted to talk to my I talked through my thought process though because when you are painting something that you might not be sure about um, 
it really helps when you um, when you at least a know what you're doing with watercolors, right? So you still need to have some kind of basis on your techniques, right? So I know that, oh, if I add some shadows here, that's what's gonna happen. Or if I were to wait for this layer to dry and then add some more layers here, like, you know, something else is gonna happen. So I know like the foundational techniques like that, right? And so I, I relied on that. And then I looked at the photo um, the screenshot from the movie and then I just kind of went on and on and on and so I wasn't trying to make it look perfect but I was just trying to yeah like lay down where the shadows are and then you know keep some of the highlights where they are and then uh, and then, so that's like 50 60 percent of like the work right the rest of it at least for me it's just kind of like gut or like your instinct and I think with watercolors, you kind of have to sometimes throw out accuracy and precision out the window and just do what feels right to you. I know that sounds super cliche, but it really is true. And that's exactly what I was doing with this mandrake. Like, I didn't know what I was doing. You know, I don't know how to paint a face, <laughs> but I was just laying colors down, you know, layering where I could and, you know, adding darker colors, blah, blah, blah. And then it was, you know, the rest of it was just kind of like gut. I wasn't even looking at the photo like towards the end. I was just like, let's just see where this takes me, you know? So I just want to encourage you, just follow your gut sometimes and it could turn out terrible and that's okay too. You know, then you learn from it and you grow from it, but it could also serve you in the, in the best way too. So <laughs> Linda, thank you. Smiling Audrey. Yes, I am smiling. Um, Okay, let's look at some of the other ones. I'm not quite done yet. This is a gillyweed. Um, I don't know exactly what gillyweed looks like. I couldn't find, like I don't have the movies like, you know, on me. And so I just took a screenshot um, of like the, the stuff that was in his hand. And then I found um, another, um, I think it was someone else like who painted it and they did something similar to this. I was like, okay, that looks easy enough. <laughs> and then toadstools, they're super, you know, cute. I'm just gonna add some opaque white at, at the end. And then wolf spain is just, it looks like, I don't know, it looks like purple sweet peas. <laughs> but that's basically that. So yeah. Oh, the other tip I have is when you're about to do something really difficult, do it, do that one first. I think that's just a good rule in life. Like when you're doing, uh, when you're starting your day and you're about to, you know, tackle your to-do list, try to do the hardest one first, right? Because if you can do that hard thing and you finished it, then all the other tasks will seem like, you know, will seem totally doable, right? You don't have to worry. And so that's why I put the mandrake first because I was like, all right, if I can feel confident after painting this mandrake, then I feel pretty good about the rest of this page, right? So tackle the hard part first, okay? All right. Yeah, Linda, that's right. Just be fluid with the colors. Exactly, exactly. Hi, Rena. Thanks so much for joining. Yeah. So um, I think I'm just gonna add some more details to the toadstool, maybe add a couple shadow details here and there, and then we'll call it an evening. So let me get the music back on and let's keep going.
hey, I think I'm dying. <laughs> wow. I will just say this. I have really enjoyed painting things that were outside of my comfort zone this week. Um, starting with, well, I mean, these potions I've painted before, but um, yeah, like painting wands. I've never painted that before. We did that back on Tuesday. And then today, yeah, like painting this little mandrake. Like, I, I really like the little guy. <laughs> Oh man, I really didn't know how it was going to turn out, but I, I really like him. <laughs> I just wish he wasn't screaming. <laughs> anyway, okay, so yeah, let's end our painting session. Um, if you're ready to end it with me by inhaling as we wash out our brushes and exhaling as we blot. Here we go. So again, if you're here and you really enjoyed what you're seeing, um, I added a way that you can support me financially. So if you just go to that link at the very bottom of the screen, it's Kofi, K-O, uh, hyphen fi.com slash Audrey Rod Design, and you can send me, um, uh, send me a coffee on Kofi. And it's just a way to support me and, you know, just to say thanks for doing what I'm doing. And yeah, um, and as I continue on this journey, it'll just be, you know, just more fuel for the soul, right? <laughs> so before we end, let's just take a moment to, yeah, admire what we've done and just kind of take in any thoughts or feelings that you may have had throughout the session and just kind of like let them be here, right? So let me just turn on the music for a little bit longer to do that. Okay. Um, oh, Linda, thanks for your question. Does the link take PayPal? You know, let me test that for you real quick. The link is also in the description box. So if you're watching from your desktop, you can, you know, click that. Um, let me just check it out for you. I'm pretty sure you can pay via PayPal, but let me just, you know, double, triple check for you. So it looks like, yeah, so when you go, uh, when you go to ko-fi.com slash design, you'll see like my page there and you'll see a lot of different things, but then you'll see a section on the page that says buy a coffee for Audrey Rod Design. So you can just click that and you can do one time or monthly. It's really up to you. And then it's just $3. Um, that's the minimum. And then let's see. Let's see, I think you need to like put in your name and stuff. So give me a second, let me grab my keyboard. Yes, so it looks like you can. So after you put in your name and your email, uh, wait, was it name and something else? Um, hold on name and your message then when you click the button to donate it does give you a couple different links like Venmo PayPal um, stripe credit card probably something like that so yeah thank you so much um, I really appreciate that again it's not like you have to do it all the time you know it's it's just 
your way of saying thank you to me um and i i mean i'm gonna be here no matter what so i appreciate any kind of support okay so yeah thank you again so much for joining me you know this these sessions of mindfulness have really helped me to yeah let go of expectations and perfectionism and that's really what mindfulness has helped me to do um, so that I don't have to uh, be disappointed I mean sometimes I still am but I'm not like beating myself up over it right um, yeah and like even with this mandrake like I had some uncertainty and a little bit of anxiety you know coming in but then I look at this little guy and I'm like oh <laughs> right doesn't it make you just want to like take him out of the pot oh man so yeah I again don't get me wrong there are definitely some days where I don't like what I've painted there was a day oh man it was it was a while ago now it's like maybe two months ago where I painted this disco ball I had this idea of like painting a disco ball I was like ooh, all the pretty colors I can use my metallic colors and I was really excited I took it took me like I don't know over an hour to even like sketch it out because it's got to be the perfect circle and then you got to get all those like little lines and the vertical lines and all that right so it took me forever just to do the sketch and then i start painting it and i think it took me maybe over an hour to also paint it and i was very very discouraged it did not turn out the way that it should have it looked very flat it um yeah it was just really disappointing so i remember throwing that away in the recycling bin and um it, it was hard to let go because it, it had been a while since i really didn't like what i had painted and i you know wrestled with feelings of like i wasted my time you know it took me like over an hour and or two hours right the sketching and the painting and so i'm just being real with you because those kinds of moments still happen even to me and and that's okay you know it's not like we're never going to be disappointed in life right <laughs> um those moments will happen but um being able to so kind of bringing it back to this session being able to be mindful and be very aware of what's going on and what you're feeling and thinking through the through the painful processes i think that's what's helped me um be more stable like mentally <laughs> and emotionally and i'm able to yeah kind of let go of that so since then i've still had some yeah sessions where i didn't like what i painted but i didn't um i didn't feel like it was a waste of time like we've been practicing in these sessions i'm trying to remember you know what can i learn from this right um where did i go wrong you know what could be improved um and is there someone else who teaches this that I could learn it from? You know, so, so I'm trying to be more of a problem solver rather than a problem creator. Um, yeah, or a problem worrier. I don't, I don't, I don't know what, that, what I was trying, just trying to say with that. But anyway, yeah. So I really appreciate you being on this journey with me. Thank you so much. Um, have a great weekend. Next week, let me see when I plan on being live. One second next week oh man so next week is a really busy just personal schedule for me so um i'm teaching a lot in the week in the evenings and during the day but um so i'll be live monday it looks like monday wednesday and thursday okay when monday wednesday thursday so i hope you can join me same time 8 p.m central and have a great weekend i hope it's sunny wherever you are and even if it's raining you know take that opportunity to yeah stay indoors and paint <laughs> so thank you again i appreciate you um oh sorry i'm reading your comments uh oh karen thank you so therapeutic to have time to watercolor and embrace the process yes i wish i could have a t-shirt that says that embrace the process and then rena i see your comments the heaviness of disappointment yeah it's it's totally yeah it can be very heavy and i like the thoughts that you share here thank you so much and that you relate thank you yeah i know i'm not alone and i'm so glad that we can talk openly about stuff like that and support one another yeah so 
Thank you. All right. Well, have a great weekend. Thank you for joining me. Bye-bye. <laughs>